A psycho kidnaps three women and keeps them imprisoned in his basement for two years, so he can create his own family. Hi guys, welcome to Kaylee King. Today, we will recap the events of a psychological thriller movie from 2014, titled The Blue Family. Let's start. The scene opens with our protagonist, Armando, talking to a woman sitting across the dining table. Armando tells her his childhood story that when he was young, his mom committed suicide and left him and his brother struggling. Then, he tells her that blue is the color of love and he loves her blue eyes. Now Armando asks the woman, Julia, to finish her drink. But she signals that she can't and we see that she is completely tied with chains. He frees her hands so she can hold the drink, but Julia is unable to raise her hands as she was tied for so long. This infuriates Armando, and he slaps her. Julia starts crying and tries her best to reach the glass, but fails and accidentally breaks it. This puts Armando in a rage, and he brutally beats her before tying her in the basement. There, he tells her that they are going to make a beautiful family together and he'll always take care of her. Now Armando goes to work. He works as a car dealer and meets a beautiful woman, Jessica. Jessica is looking to buy a car, so Armando shows her a car and becomes friends with her using his game. He asks her out and they exercise together the next day. After jogging, they come back to Armando's shop, and he sees a woman with some missing posters. The woman is Julia's mother who is still trying to find her daughter after two years. Armando acts nice, and says that he'll distribute posters in the neighborhood. He takes all the posters, and Jessica gets impressed by this act of kindness. Later, Armando invites Jessica to a party and wins her trust. He knocks her out in the parking lot and takes her to his basement. Jessica regains her consciousness and starts panicking as she's tied with chains. In the basement, Jessica gets to see Julia and realizes that she is just another victim of Armando. She was trying to free herself, so Armando forces himself on her. But suddenly, Armando's younger brother, Daniel, arrives at home. Armando quickly takes control of the situation and sends Daniel away immediately. While Armando was upstairs, Jessica asks Julia how to get out of here. Julia tells her that there is no way out and she has been suffering here for more than two years. Then she reveals that now she has a special reason to get out and the scene ends there. After that, Armando gently gives Julia a bath and promises her that they'll make a happy family. He then brings dinner for her and goes to a party with his brother. In the basement, Julia reveals to Jessica that she is pregnant with Armando's child and it is her special key to getting out. And since she is here for the past two years, she doesn't want her child to end up in the same place. Meanwhile, at the party, Armando meets Daniel's childhood friend, Aaron. He invites them to his home for some drinks, and sneakily mixes something in Aaron's drink. She soon starts feeling dizzy, and gets unconscious. Now Armando starts licking Aaron's body in front of Daniel, and he is shocked to see it. Then, Armando takes Aaron to the basement too, and ties her up with the others. Daniel loses his mind seeing all this and goes to call the police, but Armando stops him. He tells him that he is doing all this just to make a family, and they should help each other, as their mother told them to stay together before passing away. And he has only tied up the women, so they don't leave, like their mother did. Surprisingly, Daniel gets convinced by this psychotic explanation and supports his brother. The following day, Julia's mother arrives at their home and Daniel opens the door. He acts rude and sends her away, whereas Armando is in the basement, giving Aaron and others a lesson on respect. As he moves towards Julia, Jessica shouts that he should leave her as she is pregnant. This melts Armando and he sleeps next to her. In the evening, Julia demands healthy food from Armando and he happily goes to buy it. After some time, Aaron and Jessica accuse and attack Julia for being friendly with Armando. But she breaks down and tells them that she is only doing it for her baby. She wants the baby to survive and come out healthy at all costs. Then Daniel comes downstairs and gives food to all the girls. There, Julia requests him to let them bathe properly since it has been so long. Now we see Armando giving a bath to them, but he also forces himself on them, and there is nothing anybody can do. He then puts Jessica and Julia to sleep, and leaves from there. Whereas in the basement, Daniel is spending time with Aaron, and we realize that he is not a complete psycho like his brother. On every weekend, Armando would bring out all the girls from the basement, so they can have breakfast as a family. There, he notices that Julia and Daniel are getting a little too close to each other. Also, Jessica is trying to signal outsiders using a metal utensil. However, Armando is very observant, 
and notices everything that was going on in the house. So, after breakfast, he takes Jessica to a room and tears her top. He punishes her for asking for help, and hits her mercilessly with the belt. Julia and Aaron cry hearing Jessica scream, but the best they can do is pray. Here, we notice that Daniel is also bothered by the fact that Jessica is going through such brutal punishment. However, he too is too scared to raise his voice. Then time passes by, and Julia gets closer and closer to delivering the baby. She knew that her only hope for getting out of this place is Daniel. So she started getting close to him and tried to persuade him. However, Armando was noticing everything yet again and tries to talk to Daniel. He soon loses control and hits him in the head with a bottle. Armando then drags him to the bathtub and pours boiling hot coffee on him. With that, Daniel has realized that his brother is a complete psycho, and he'll do anything to keep everything in control. So now, Daniel decided to help the girls out and expose his brother. He secretly meets the girls in the basement, and sympathizes with them. He explains his plan to them, and asks them to be ready. Later, he spends some quality time with Armando, so he doesn't suspect him. Then when Armando is not looking, he puts the same powder in his drink. With that, Armando gets unconscious, and Daniel starts acting on his plan. He takes out the keys from his pocket and immediately goes to release the girls. He gives the keys to them, but Armando suddenly wakes up. He hears Julia shouting in pain, so he thinks that she is about to deliver his baby. Actually, Julia was faking all this, so Armando can leave the house for getting medications and they'll escape this hell hole. As soon as Armando leaves for the pharmacy, the girls start freeing themselves from the chains and locks. But there were so many locks that it was taking a lot of time. Jessica somehow frees herself and immediately goes upstairs to call for help. She asks a stranger for help and he comes down to help the girls. The stranger helps them, and calls 911 while opening the locks. All of them get free and run, but Armando has already arrived there. As they come upstairs, Armando stands in front of them. But luckily, the police arrive just in time and arrest Armando. At the end of the movie, we see Julia with her daughter in the park. Julia explains that blue was the color of love for Armando, but for her, it is the color of freedom. Because blue is the color of sky, and now she and her daughter can enjoy their freedom under it. That was it for the recap guys. This movie is actually dedicated to the thousands of people who get lost every day, and no one knows where they are, and what is happening to them. The movie inspires everyone to care for each other, and be reactive to things happening around us. Just like the stranger who helped the girls only because of his altruistic nature. Let us know in the comments which movie you'd like to see next. Make sure to like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell as well so that you are notified of our next uploads. Thank you for watching.